YT Dan Duel Links is brought to you by dank duelists like you. Become a YouTube member to never miss. What's going on my boys? YT Dan back again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. And today this video is going to be a little bit different than the other videos because this video is an r slash a dual links video thank you thank you thank you so much i know you enjoyed it thank you thank you thank you thank you oh oh thank you thank you thank you thank you we're getting in there my boys to talk more about some r slash dual links memes if you enjoy this type of content don't forget to crush that like button and subscribe for more r slash dual links memes in the future these memes are going to be a little bit different than the last few weeks Normally, you have the people coming over here with all kinds of salt from beyond the different dimensions to talk more about the case, more of the uh, the latter, more of the ranked PvP duels. But we are now in KC Cup time. So this salt is going to be specifically directed to the KC Cup and the disgusting meta players who run the most disgusting, most powerful meta decks that they possibly can play and also the cheesiest, cheesiest players who are still playing stuff like witchcrafters and you know all kinds of stuff. So there's gonna be a lot of salt here, some premium salt in this one. So I would suggest if you have any type of heart problems or anything like that or any type of you know cholesterol issues, I would suggest you crush the like button, subscribe, and then also you know ask a doctor if you can ingest these memes. <laughs> Hilariously, uh, speaking of salt, my boy, the KC Cup in particular has the salt percentage of the Dead Sea <laughs> when you're about to defeat your opponent and they let the timer run for three minutes. Die mad, you salty bitch. <laughs> now, that's first off, that's rude. That's rude as fuck. Second, you know, this particular deck, you know, if, you know, with running Witchcrafters is frustrating to a lot of players. And the funny thing about uh, running witchcrafters is that uh, someone who's gonna let the time run out for three minutes isn't necessarily someone who's basically trying to, uh, I guess, be salty and let you know how salty they are. What they're trying to do, low key, is trying to make sure you waste time sitting on their clock and not, you know, continuing on your climb and getting more points. I think it's actually more of like, you know, a reverse Uno card, but you know, they gonna die real mad because yes, they are some assaulty uh, bitches. Yeah, and this looks pretty accurate right here. Infernity players on turn one sweat and don't know what to do. Literally are about to die. They make it to turn two. Hey guy, I might have a couple loops for you. <laughs> yeah, Infernity, yeah, yeah, you're not gonna really see that in case you come out on Shiranui style swallows slash tribute one zombie type monster and target two cards on the field, destroy them, then banish one Shiranui monster from your deck. You can only activate one Shiranui style swallow slash per turn. What? Oh, Konami, don't do this to us, please. Oh my God. Just, I mean, Sure, Shiranui is annoying and disgusting and probably needs to be retired pretty soon, but good lord, we do not need this card in Duel Links. I, I'm salty to even see this on our slash Duel Links right now. This is gross. 116 upvotes, you crazy maniacs. I knew it would be too good to be true versus Super Heavy Samurai's empty field and no Giga Gloves and Grave. Attack for 3,000? <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> That obscure super heavy samurai defense, my boy. That's hilarious. <laughs> so, so dumb. <laughs> Poor Kamakiri players being top tier must be hard. Duel, restart, opponent surrenders. <laughs> Damn it. You know what, actually? Kamakiri is so busted, man. Because it's the only deck in the format right now that can afford to run restart because re after they get a perfect hand, the deck will end with three monsters on the field and three back row and one card in hand. That's seven cards on turn one. Now, I don't know about you, but I think restart was actually nerfed to prevent those types of things. And um, it sets a very high bar for that skill, actually. It really says if you're not 
generating at least three pluses on the first turn, then it's no point of even running restart. So, I mean, just think about how disgusting that is, my boy, and let the salt float through. <laughs> Found this on Facebook today. Man, I don't care how many times I've seen the goddamn Kaiba Corp PS5. That shit's still funny to me, bro. I don't care how many times I fucking see this shit. Haha, -ha, all my gems go burr. <laughs> Pay to win with a time machine. You should get three copies of Levianir for our Thunder Dragon deck. Really? <laughs> Free to play with a time machine. The UR we want will be the last pack. <laughs> we know. <laughs> Yes, yes, those free to play chads know it's always the last pack. My, my shit's always the last pack. So, you know, I, I, I feel it, I feel it. The censorship on naming decks is absolutely ridiculous. Um, I literally typed in next step into my naming thing and it blocked the, the word step. And, I, and it was so funny because I couldn't understand or think why they would block the word step. And then I literally remembered, you know, Sometimes stepsister get caught in the dryer. And I thought, why? Why is Konami even thinking about that kind of shit when they're blocking names? But you can even see from this meme right here, they go to Element Saber deck, Konami looks at it and they're like, well, uh, no, you're not gonna put L E, you're not gonna put L E M or, or whatever. Like they're they're blocking random letters in Element Saber. It's just so strange. I just I don't I don't get it why they do that. I guess it's to make sure that people aren't typing offensive crap in deck lists and offensive crap in their names. And I, I guess, you know, that, that makes that makes total perfect sense. But I mean, God damn, I, did, I just didn't know there were so many offensive words in the vernacular, so many people. <laughs> yeah, that's right, my boy. Nerf or no nerf, the Casey Cup is here and it's time to do it for her. We need those gems, my boy. So it's time to get in there, <laughs> but we not doing it. We not doing it for her, my boy. <laughs> You know it's true. Sheer Dewey players waiting on the ban list. It's likely that I could lose my deck soon. I should have some kind of backup plan. Let's see what I've got going on. Other skills. <laughs> Sucking dick. <laughs> please just give me, please just give us, our, please just give us trade in co money. That's all I want in life. Yes. Blue Eyes players, yeah, no, you deserve a brick like the Triple D deserves bricks. Here's the reason. Your combos are so disgusting that you could end on the field with three monsters, banished back row, and graveyard negation on the first turn. You deserve to have a potential brick in your deck because your deck is so powerful. <laughs> that is the look. That's exactly how I be looking like. Ha! <laughs> Jokes on you and your one copy of Cosmic Cyclone. Both set cards were karma cut. Evil cackling. These two spark joy. <laughs> These cards do not spark joy. Uh, actually, I I want to actually kind of put it out there, and I want to say, you know, fuck chain disappearance. I've had so much problems with chain disappearance. It's absolutely ridiculous. I I really, what I really hate about chain disappearance is that sometimes I play decks that have chain disappearance has no effect on at all. I don't run a ton of low level monsters and even if i did run a low level monster it's like the last card or the middle card played and at that point i've already cleared back row but sometimes there is a deck where i start off the combo with the little monster and this is the one guy who has chain disappearance it literally makes me scream internally i hate chain disappearance bro i hate it i'm that actually chain disappearance is enough to give me assault attack that's right, my boy. Just keep it under, keeping it under two. Not said, not keeping it under two thousand. Call an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> well, you know what? Honestly, I'm kind of sick of seeing Cyber uh, Cyber Dragon. I mean, it's an okay deck. I mean, it's it's cool, but 
it's like one of those decks that just kind of like refuses to die. It's always going to be lurking in the shadows. And I mean, you bell used to be like that until it just stopped being played all together. So hopefully this uh, deck takes the, uh, you know, a, a cue from you bell and just, you know, GTFOs. I think we have a yes clicker. Looks like they were basically uh, in the opportunity to win the game on turn five. They activated uh, the fusion spell and then they bring out Chimera Tech Over Dragon. And when they were supposed to bring out uh, Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon, uh, <laughs> idiot, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> hmm, that's kind of, that's interesting. Would Elemental Hero Shadow Mist be too strong for Duel Links? It's a level four monster says, if this card was special summon, you can add one change quick play spell from your deck to the hand. Too powerful. Yes, too powerful. That's a, that's a one card Anki. No, fuck that. That's way too powerful right there. I don't care what else it says. I, it's too powerful. <laughs> says, if this card is sent to the graveyard, add a hero from your deck to the hand. Man, you're telling me I'm playing against heroes. Got this man beat down, destroyed all the monsters. Maybe I took a ton of damage. This man top deck shadow mist, summons shadow mist, searches for mass change, mass change into Anki, shadow mist hits grave, search deck for Stratos, summon Stratos, search deck for whatever. Yeah, way too strong for dual links. Dark, <laughs> Dark magicians means incoming. Your opponent summons the rod activates the circle and sets two and on turn one panic you snipe the navigation with night beam calm he activated a second navigation panic yes yeah, it's, it's yeah dark magician is ridiculous and, and sometimes man when they have double navigation it, oh my god it's it's so funny that double navigation is so good with Dark Magician, but double of the same kind of trap in any other deck would just be devastating. Well, except for Cyber Dragon, you would have like two really good cards. But the former two are still great. 10 Goldfish is the best card in the new box. No, it's obviously Stratos, but true chads, true chads, my boy. The best new card is Fissure, <laughs> yes. We haven't gotten costless monster removal in a while. Yes, my boy. See, only true chads understand the power of a fissure. How different has the KC Cup climb been from the ladder? And you know what, my boys? Looking at this right here is the perfect time to plug my video. I have a video that's out, my boys, and we talk about the most likely decks you'll see in the KC Cup. It's just honestly a, more of an anec anecdotal type of video based off my experience of dueling people in KC Cup uh, dual level match. So take a look at that video, my boys, and it'll definitely give you some insight on some of the most competitive decks that you do not see on the ladder. Happy birthday to Black Wings. <laughs> Happy birthday to Black Wings. Two years since coming into Duel Links, one year of being meta. When they fall though, don't forget Konami. It was his meta. Konami, he was number one. Fuck Black Wings. Shout out to everyone for hitting 5 billion duels. I actually put in 56,000 duels and I've seen people say they put in a million and a different number. So let me know in the comments below how many duels you put in and shout out to Big Konami for dropping some You Are Dream tickets on us because we definitely need that for the KC Cup. And all right, my boys, this is the actually the most hilarious one right here. Um, so how do you even play Christrons? And the person who plays Christrons looks like the absolute maniac because yes, this person is playing every single card in the Christron deck plus the stealth attack with whale. You can get the fuck in there with a Christron deck like this, but I mean, you know, that's a secret. That's, that's, that's why it's so hard to explain to another dude. My boy, help decide. Rank number one, rank number two in back row removal, cosmic cyclone or forbidden lands. Another shameless plug, my boy. I have a video that's out. We're talking about forbidden lands and cosmic cyclone. And we're talking about it in the context of using Shark Drake OTK with Performer Pal Swordfish. It is an amazing video that you don't want to miss. Check it out, my boys. But I mean, personally, between these two cards, I like Forbidden Lance. Cosmic Cyclone costs way too much. 
in terms of life points in this meta you cannot afford to give away a thousand life points also forbidden lance is a really strong card because this spell card can be offensive and defensive and on top of that protect your monsters as you're going into your combos that require multiple monsters to work so for me it's a no-brainer forbidden lance is like the best removal flat out but that's gonna be it for me my boys i want to thank you so much for watching this video if you made it all the way to the end man if you haven't subscribed already why if you made it all the way to the end i mean you obviously like me or you obviously like the sound of my voice or you obviously have so much salt within your veins you need this video to help balance you out so if that's the case hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll catch you in the next one my boys and as always keep it dang